fun. Okay, good morning still. Today we're going to be doing end roots. I know you don't know what that is yet, but you will. End roots and operations on those roots. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. Okay, gentlemen. Yeah! Ladies. Uh, gentlemen. Yeah! Ladies. Uh, nice range. <laughs> <laughs> we got a laugher. <laughs> Water. Okay. I appreciate it. I know you know what this is. We start with things that are easy and then move to things that are challenging. That's a good concept. <laughs> what is this? Seven. Seven. Okay. You wanna you wanna throw an eye in it? No. What's this shape thing he called? Root. 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 root? Square, root. square root. It's called the square root. Called the square root. So it's called the square root. Who can define in their own words what square root is? A number times a number equals a number times itself, itself. pretty much. Good. A number times itself. So what times itself is 49? Seven. Seven. What times itself is 81? Nine. 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 X. X. X to, the third. X to the third. Yes. You add the exponents. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, now X what? to the three times X to the three equals X to the six. Correct. Why what? Why wouldn't that be two X to the six? Because two X to the six. What, what do you mean two X to the six? Right, Square root of eighty-one is done by itself. Right. So that's nine. Square root of X to the six is done by itself. That's X cubed. Okay. So. That goes x cubed is there. Okay, so that's square root. It doesn't stop at square root. Today we're going to broach. If this is square root, what do you think this is called? Third root. Cube root. Cube, cube root. root. Third root works too. Okay. Cube root. Cube root. Like one times one times one times one. Exactly. So I was, that was going to be was going to be my question. <laughs> so say that the the idea behind cube root is what. One, something times another thing. Times the same thing times itself. the same thing. Same thing times itself three, three, times. three times. As seen here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice, right? Okay, you can go away now. Uh, maybe I'm my time itself. Okay, there it goes. Okay. So, good. Something times itself times itself again equals 27x cubed. So, what times what times what is 27? 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. What times what times what is x cubed? X. Uh, x. That's it. Right? That's the main concept. <coughs> That's the main concept. Here comes Mo. Cube root of negative 64. <laughs> x to the 6. I do why it's still in the way. Mission not accomplished. Six or six? Which one, sorry? Is that negative 6? Negative 64. Right. Oh, so negative 64. Four. Yes. So, so what do you think? No. No, think about it. What times what times what is negative 64? Negative 4. Is that cool? Yeah. Negative 4. Oh, since it's cubed, you can use negative 4 x I hear a lot of discussion of this topic. That's wonderful. What are, what are there any questions? Negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 is negative 64. Yes. So you don't have to take the i out? No, i is not relevant here. Okay. Meaning, you can have cube roots of negative numbers. Okay. Can you have square roots of negative numbers? No. no. Because when a negative times a negative... Would be a positive. So you can't have a negative square root. Exactly. So with that, okay, let's also do this. What's the cube root? Now the negative 64 is done. What's the cube root of? X to the six, yes sir. X squared. X squared. X squared. X squared. Questions about this? X squared. All right, so here's something that you never knew your whole life. It was here hiding. Here's cube root. There's actually a, a two there hiding all along. Square root. Cube root. What's after cube root? Fourth root. Fourth root. There, n. Yay. Two, three, four, five. It could be anything you want. Oh, n being a number. Oh. n being a number, yeah. So we've done square root, done cube root. So, hook it up. Fourth root, one problem. 81. 
Hmm, what do we got? I want to do x to the 8, y to the 5. Yeah, I heard some people saying the answers. Think about it, think about it. How did you do this in your calculator? Boy, how do you do why is it there? There is an end through it button in the calculator. Oh. Yeah, there's an end through it, I believe. I'll, I'll talk about it with you later, not right now. Okay, so what times what times what times what is 81? Three. 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 Very good. So that's three. X to the. What? Again, four times times itself is x to the eight. X squared. Very nice. Okay, now y to the five. What do we do? You pull out y and there's one. You pull out one y. Very good. Now, basically, could we agree that the fourth root of y to the five is the same as the fourth root of y to the four times y? Oh, yeah. yeah. And now, the fourth root of y to the four is what? Y. y. Just y. Correct. So this is just y. This y to the four is taken care of. The fourth root of y is? Y. No. The fourth root of y. y. The fourth root of y. Yeah, I'm testing. The fourth root of y is the fourth root of y. We can't do anything. So we write the fourth root of y. Okay. You simplify what you can, and you leave what you can't. Okay. I can leave that for sure. Uh, there was one quick one I didn't want, I didn't get to do. What's that? It's a little fraction exposure. What times what times what is one two five on the bottom? Boop. Negative. No oh, negative. One five. One fifth. One fifth. One fifth. Please. What time? What number times itself three times? We'll get a question if you have it. What number times itself three times? One over five. Question, please. The only question is, that's not y to the fourth, right? It's, it's, it's the Correct. This fourth goes to the... Yeah. Like that, yeah. Okay. All right, good. So, we're going to go over one more thing. So, we've done nth roots. Next is... Operations. Operations. And then there's cheering. And then there's cheering. <laughs> you can do that now. Woo! Is that how you guys cheer? <laughs> I just feel like there's ghosts in here. <laughs> okay. Here's the rule. I'm going to write this down. If you know this rule, you know how to do all the end root operations. You have to understand crucial importance times 4 square root of 5, and then 3 square root of 5. I cannot express how important it is if you want to be successful in this stuff to understand the difference between these two. If you understand the difference between these two, no matter what, no matter how hard the problem is, you have to follow these basic rules for all operations on radicals. All right. So what do you think?